now the first step is to install the game to ssd now if you have installed the game to hdd try installing the game to ssd because if you go to uh, minimum system requirement uh, over here uh, you can see ssd mandatory so try installing the game to ssd and then check next step is to try launching the game multiple times and then check so just if the game is not launching or if it is stuck on loading you can simply just close the game and restart the game multiple times and then check now the next step is to unplug external devices which you are not using so if you have devices which you are not using disconnect those devices if you have like sometimes we have usb adapter or dongle connected to the computer disconnect it if you have extra controller connected to the computer disconnect it disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor disable overlay now for this go to steam make a right click on the game select properties now over here if enable the steam overlay while in game is on you can turn this off and then check now also close all the other overlay application like if you have discord if you have overlay on in discord you can go to discord settings and then turn off the overlay you can go to ge force experience if it is open and then go to settings and turn off in game overlay or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game also close all the overclocking application so if you have msi afterburner river tuner or any kind of overclocking application running close it do not overclock if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game also close background application and third party application so if you have any kind of application make sure only the steam and the game is running rest you can close everything including all your browsers and services so you can open task manager and then in task manager in process here if you have any third party like services running you can just make a right click and then click on end task so this is just an example so close all the third party services now the next step is to link steam account with nickel so you can go to browser now type in nickel login and then you can go to the login page and here you can see login with steam so click on it and then you will see your account over here click on link account now once linked uh, you will you can go to profile and you can go to my deed now over here you will see your steam accounts is linked over here now you can launch the game and then check next step is to rename or delete save game files but when you do so you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch so only if you agree you can do this so go to file explorer go to documents over here open my games folder and you will see the game folder over here you can make a right click you can rename it you can create a backup if you want you can just copy this file and you can put it to the desktop so whenever you want you can always put it back and then but you will lose all the game progress when you rename or delete the save game files so you can rename it to dot old now you can launch the game and then check you can even delete this folder if that does not work and then launch the game and then check next step is to run the game from the game installation folder now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select manage now click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder now over here you will see the game exe file and then make a double click try to launch the game from here if that does not work go to properties make a right click and then go to prop properties go to the second tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check if that does not work again go to properties and then this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game if that does not work you can even try windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game you can even put a check on disable full screen optimization and then hit apply click on ok and then check now still not working in that case when you put a check on all these boxes it's if it's not working you can uncheck these boxes then hit apply click on ok and then make a right click go to properties and this time go to this tab and then 
click on change high dpi settings and put a check on the box which says override high dpi scaling behavior select application over here click on ok and then hit apply launch the game and then check still not working in that case you can uncheck this box ok apply ok and then follow the next step now the next step is to now if you're using any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you're using, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now I'm not using any antivirus program, but if you're using it, allow the game exe file or the complete game folder to the exception list. Now if you're using Windows security, in that case you can open Windows settings, go to privacy and security and then click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Now click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. And then click on add an allowed app. Now click on browse all apps. And then go to the game installation folder. With the game installed in C drive, open C drive. Program file 686. Open the Steam folder. Steam apps folder. Common folder. And then open the game folder. Select the game exe file, click on open and now launch the game. Still not working. The next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then Select the drive. So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case, it's 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16. 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So 1 16 into 1024. 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case initial size is 24576. 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 4915152. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now the next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in launch option. So make a right click on the game, select properties, go to the general tab and in the launch option, type in dash DX11. And then you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can even try dash DX12 and then you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, you can remove this and then follow the next step. Now the next step is to make a right click on the game once again and then go to properties and then go to controller tab. Now this has worked for few players so it might work for you. So you can disable the steam input, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can try enable steam input and then check. 
for many users after disabling steam input uh, has worked so you can try this if not working you can use the default settings and then follow the next step now the next step is to verify the game files now for this go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files now once the verification is 100 percent complete now you can launch the game and then check next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver this is important so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website select product category for me it's geforce now select the right product series so for me it's 30 series so make sure that you select your series and then select your graphic card now once you select your graphic card select the right operating system and then click on find and then you will see the latest driver so right now it's 561.09 and then click on view and then click on download and once the download is complete you can run this exe file and then click on agree and continue and then select custom option then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation put a check over here and then click on next and let the installation complete after the installation restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box go to graphic settings and then click on browse over here go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on add in my case the game is already added so once the game is added click on the game and then click click on options select high performance over here and then click on save now the next step is to install visual c plus plus file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website scroll down and download this x86 and x64 run both the exe file install it and then restart the computer and after the system restart launch the game next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so if nothing is working you can simply make a right click on the game select manage uninstall now after you uninstall it go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder restart your computer and install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive try installing the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive then try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel